Dear friends, hello. I'm very happy to welcome today a beautiful and elegant guest. Her name is Nadine Hamas. She is a mother, she is a role model, she has a company and she is the CEO of her own life. She is a singer and so many things all in total. So, dear Nadine, I'm very happy to welcome you today. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for your Thank time. You Thank you. Uh, Nadine, this is a program, it's called Hidden Hero. So tell me please, who is a hero for you in nowadays? Uh, everyone is a hero. You know, because everybody today are uh, overcoming challenges and uh, people are going through a lot. And everyone, every achievement that you do in your life, my kids are heroes, my husband is a hero, you are a hero. Everyone that is doing something to overcome the challenges that are going through and they are having that positive uh, attitude towards life and everything is a hero. Beautiful ads, I love it very much. <laughs> so tell me please, I know that a lot of people are afraid to start something. They yeah. have a lot of fear. Oh, maybe I will fall down, maybe people will laugh at me, maybe I will look very stupid. And I know that you are not afraid of anything. Yeah. Even you start uh, your song and you recorded your song at the age, let's say, 40. Yes. How you are not afraid of that and not afraid of age and of trying? Actually, I was very afraid before. Uh, this is uh, coming after like lots of training and lots of uh, work on myself. You know, we all have our dreams, we all have our, have our uh, hopes and sometimes uh, we limit ourselves because of the society or because of what people told us. And we are programmed, we can say that, we are programmed, we have programs saying that Okay, when you're 40, that's it. You cannot get married. You cannot get to have children. You cannot pursue your dreams. Uh, everything you should, you have to do it at the age of 20. But actually, when you are 20, you don't know exactly what you want. So Absolutely. it's an experimentation. Yeah. I, for me, uh, it took me like from I have my I have a dream that is always here that is haunting me all my life. But yet, until I said, you know what, I want to do it, I had a lot to do of work of uh, me and myself. It's like a self-interviewing myself about, do you really want that dream? Will this make you feel happy? Will this make you satisfied? And when I turned the things to me, that's when I did them. Before it was, what about the people? What's, what about my husband? What he will say? What about the parents? What about my sisters? What about the, the society? What they will say? But you told me that even when recording your song at the radio, yeah. people were surprised. How come? This is your first song yeah. and you're already 40, you're not 20, you're not 16. Yeah. Um, what you were thinking about that? Exactly, because when I turned the things inward, when I said, what is it that will make you me happy? Today I'm 40 and I'm starting a new life, a new phase. What is it that will make me happy? This will make me very happy and satisfied is to bring my voice into the world, into a, a song. Because long time ago, I used to go like say for uh, songwriters and they were telling me the same thing. Nadine, but now, now you want to start a career in singing? <laughs> Now I look at myself. Like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> why it's always what they were why? meaning that it's too they, late. They, yeah, that it's too will late. Like that it. people will not uh, appreciate you because you are like in your forties. And for me, I feel like I'm. I have the energy of uh, seventeen years old. So for me, again, that way of thinking: Am I forty or I have an energy? No, I have a very good energy, and I still want to be, and I want to exist and I can exist at any age. And this is something that I am also sharing with people. At any age you can be. Many people became famous or they, they did their dream on 50s and 60s and 70s. This is very beautifully said and I would like to comment on that, you know, because very often, especially in Russia, we think that the, at the age of 40 or 50, uh, our life is finished. I think it's never finished at 20, at 70 and even 85 if you're still alive and you can still run your uh, business and you still meet a person whom you love even if you are 63 i'm sorry and nadine this is you know this is an evidence to that it's not somebody from the moon because very often you tell me you know olga you bring us tina turner you bring us Cher. 
This are you bring us Madonna. These are examples were very far away. This is an example that is sitting next to me. Her name is Nadine Hamas, and she's here today. And you can see that she managed to do it herself, and nobody helped her. Nobody came and gave it to her. Yeah, nobody came. And this is also one thing we think that uh, if I am talented or I'm waiting for someone to come and notice me, nobody will notice you. You have to prove yourself. You have to prove to say I am here. Hello, and then everything will start working. And this is also a shift in the mindset. It's how I think. Before I told you, I was thinking always to the outside. When I started thinking about me, and actually we come here alone and we will live alone. So let's, let's take ourselves seriously. And, and this is where I decided also to write my own songs. Not only that, I compose the music as well. Because I've been to many uh, also composers and they tell me, oh, okay, do you have the money? Do you have the, if, if you don't, if you are not young, you should have the money, you know what? So you should money or you should have, be very young, you very know, young. There, there are no other. Because <laughs> nobody will come now and invest in you, you know, because as an, as an artist, you will have like producers to come and say, you know what, I will invest in you because you will get, you will give them like a return on their investment because people will like them. Nobody will invest in no. me. <laughs> Besides you or family or people said, who love you, you know what? Yeah, or believe in you. I have a talent in writing. I will write my songs. I have a talent in music. I'm a musician. I will compose my own. Bravo. I have my beautiful Bravo. voice. Not only that, I have a message to say. And this is the songs that I, that I wrote is about finding the right person in your life, finding the right partner in your life. It's all about uh, acceptance and mm. about showing that love is unconditional and all those conditions that they put on us you have to be beautiful you have to be this you, you have to be nothing you just have to be like that absolutely. absolutely that's why very often you see at people who are not that beautiful who are not that extremely elegant but they're happy and they have partners and they have beautiful life but somebody who looks like a barbie and who should be with somebody and she's alone isn't it strange yeah, because first of all, they are not accepting themselves. Mm. Ladies, we need to accept ourselves the way we are, okay? Mm -hmm. Like not to look like someone else. And also when you accept yourself, you start accepting everybody else. Absolutely. And life will be very easy and flowing. So you will go from that place where you are always feeling like a victim. Absolutely. Okay, a victim by life, a victim by your parents, victim by your partner. So we, will, we have to stop playing that role of being the victim. No, we are heroes. Okay. I love yeah, it. Exactly. Hidden we hero from victims. Nadine Kamas. Stop uh -huh. doing victims. You are not the victim. Get out of this victim role. Better be a hero. It will help you. Nadine, tell me please, you have a very difficult experience related with health. Yes. Actually, you are a cancer survivor. Yes. What gives you this power to survive? Uh, the power to survive is the power of loving life. It's about that life is a gift and it's offering us that place to be. And yet we are not seeing that. We don't see how much life is giving us. We always blame and complain about being alive rather than start playing and, and, and loving who we are and what we want to do. So when, when, I, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, it was for me a shock because, you know, I started my talks about positive thinking because I, I am specialized in like the reprogramming of the mind and, and all these things. And then I stopped and I asked myself, okay, fine. I talk about positive thinking. I talk about healthy lifestyle. I talk about everything. How come I attracted yeah. a, a, a sickness? Come? Yeah, how come? Because deep inside of you, you're not healing your uh, soul because we think that we are very strong and then everything that happened with you during your childhood or when you get married or when you are growing up, you feel that this is very, uh, if you suppress them, they will go. Actually, yeah. they don't go. We want to understand exactly what is going on with us on a daily basis, check on us. We don't check on ourselves. We think that, okay, someone hurt you, you put it on your back and you walk. No, it's still there. So it's you mean that we should work with every thought and everything exactly. that hurt us? We should, yes. uh, we should heal. We should heal our traumas. We mm. should heal our phobias. We should heal our childhood. 
we, we end every relationship that was hard on us and every mm. situation. For me, I know where it comes from because I lost my father and then after a year I lost my mother and then I left my country, I came to Dubai and then I started working alone, you know, I was very young. Then after two years I met my husband and I get pregnant and one after one, <laughs> oops. So it was a big shock of everything. It was, it was too many events that are big and you didn't take the time to uh, allow the process of to absorb it to anyway. absorb them so you think that yes it's okay you keep you keep bottling your emotions and your feelings until your body tells you you know what it's time for you to rest and this is where sickness comes mm -hmm. because our thoughts are always telling us because they are telling us pay attention there's something going wrong when you're getting panic attack, when you're having an anxiety that is, you don't have a reason why you're getting that. That means that this is the time where you have to sit and understand what's going on with you and heal and take a time for you to understand what's going on. This is a very important uh, comment from Nadine. So take a time. If something happening in your life, don't run. Don't think this happened, but it's nothing. If it's happened, that means it's serious. So think that take time because, yeah, she's a beautiful young girl when she came, you know, she lost one parent, another parent, and she worked hard and she got married. It looked like everything is okay, but maybe it was too much. It was too much like events, even if they are positive or negative, it's the, 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 the emotions that are not uh, really like 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 a yeah, bubbly uh, yeah like a bubbly there is no clarity there is no settling down so what happens the body gets very tired mm. and it makes you it makes you sick mm. and this is how sickness is created because you you were not sick when you were diagnosed when I was diagnosed I was sick long time ago but it translated it took a time where I didn't pay attention to my thoughts okay then my body told me you know what okay you now sit and deal with your with yourself and that time it was it was a blessing it was a blessing because uh, uh, I, I i changed i changed and i said you know what everything that i'm talking about about positive thinking and stuff like that maybe it's time for me to start implementing this on my situation right now and and see if this works and it works Thanks God. Nadine, tell me please, what you can recommend to people now who don't have this big knowledge as you, because you yeah. study positive, positive talks, positive, and they have any kind of disease, how to get out of that? How to get out of that is, first of all, is to understand what's going on with us. Okay, so I will tell you the same formula that we, we, put, we put on any situation. It could be sickness, it could be any difficult problem yeah. that is happening. So asking the question why, mm -hmm. why this is happening with me, why me, it will keep me in the victim uh, side because yeah. the why will keep on looping in the same place and I cannot see anything else. I will keep on putting myself in a victim mode. Why me? Why I got sick? Why it's me? For me, the question, the answer came after a long time, like after four years and the answer was why not? Why not? Why, why not me? Why not me? Why we are all here uh, in this, uh, this life? And also the other thing that happened to me as well, I, I stopped taking, uh, taking like responsibility that it's me who did that to myself and feel that guilt and regret. No, okay, it happened, fine. My responsibility is to heal, Perfect. not to blame myself. Perfect. Okay, so, so better heal, but don't blame. Exactly. Remove this victim. So how to move from this side to this side is when I start asking the question, how can I change it? Mm. Okay, okay, I'm sick, fine. Why I'm sick, I will not get any answers. I am sick, I acknowledge what, what I have, how can I change it? And this is where I start shifting to the positive thinking and where I will get ideas and action plan. How can I do it? Yes, I will take care of my thoughts. I'll do like positive affirmation. I can do meditation. There are many ways of um, dealing with your mental. Find my, my body, I will exercise, I will eat the right uh, food, I will be mindful. 
not like uh, leaving myself like seven, eight hours working, 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 and then I eat anything and everything and my, I get this. You see how I like what Nadine is saying, because you know, sometimes you work, but you work for what? And in effect, it will not make you happy and you lose your health. Then yeah. stop this work. Stop this work. You don't need it because you do it for what? Just to be successful, but if you don't have health, there is no meaning. There is no meaning of that. Today, when, when I, going back to the singing, the first thing that I ask if I will pray or if we had a, God give me the, uh, the energy and the health to, to be, to be there. Because, you know, if you don't, if you have a headache, you can, you can see that everything is <laughs> not good. Not good. You know, Absolutely. so health is very important, important and we want to take care of our health, not only our body, but our, our, our mind and our emotions and our spirituality as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Nadine, a lot of people ask where to find inner power. They yeah. say, okay. I have a plan, I have an idea, I want to do it. Okay, I remove the fear, yeah. I'm not afraid. But where can I take this power? Why some people, they do have power and others, they don't have. Okay, there are, this is, let, let's say, there are two people, there are two things. Some people are motivated by fear. Yeah. If they are scared, if they are bullied, if they are put under pressure, they show you the best uh, they, they can. Other people, they are motivated with love. Mm -hmm. And also, the more you support them, you give them empowerment, yeah. they will show you the best. Here, there's a choice from where you want to function. Do you want to be motivated by fear and by being not good enough so you can prove yourself that they are good enough? Or you want to be motivated with love and understanding that you can create that support group and empowerment. Our inner uh, comes from saying that I am here I have an idea to say and I'm not afraid to share it with you and give me your support. Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. It's very nice, very nice set. <laughs> Nadine, let's go now to a very quick answers and uh, I want to know more about you, what personality you are. Tell me please, what you're the most, like it's like short questions and short okay. answers. What you're the most proud of in your life? Uh, I'm proud of me. <laughs> This is very nice. Yes. This is very nice. What, when you have free time, what do you love to do? I dance. You dance. Yeah. What are you most proud about your kids about? Uh, my, uh, how I raised them. Because I raised them uh, with my own way of uh, positive parenting. What is this positive it's, parenting? It's about uh, uh, going every, every age, if they are one, I become one year old. If they are two, two. Now they are teenagers, I'm a teenager with them. So it's not like uh, the saying that I'm the mother and they are the kids. We are all the same. We're, I come to their world. If they are watching a fairy tale, I would go into this. If they are uh, doing anything with their friends, I am with them. It's like I go into different age <laughs> with them. And also I always uh, give them the, the right, uh, the same right that I have in the house. Let's say this is your house and it's my house and it's everyone's house. Whoever is living here, you have the right to invite, to say and to change something in the house because you, you live here. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, don't touch this as mine. No. So you empower them. I empower them and I always, uh, I, I'm very fragile from the inside. I have um, like too much, they call me Mama Pool, the mother that is always uh, holding her kids. This is in me, but what I show them, I always show them that uh, you're powerful, you can do whatever you want. Because also me, I was raised like that. I, I think one of the, the key things why I am like that and why I overcame many obstacles in my life and I'm now ready to talk and share, because my mother used to tell me, I'm not afraid of you. You are very strong, wherever you will go, you can be. And this was like my, my power. This is also my inner power that my mother said that I can overcome all challenges. So better for me to prove that. Beautifully. Yeah. And I think then we can give a um, recipe for parents. Mm -hmm. So empower your kids. Give them the chance to be strong. I'm also saying that to myself uh, because I think I will do it now differently and thank you Nadine for sharing it because it's very very strong. What is the event or day in life that changed you the most? Um, that changed me the most? It's when... The, the day when I was on a training 
uh, with the neuro linguistic programming. It's, I, I was taking like a master practitioner and uh, I had a breakthrough and it was like like really it's like you you bring out yourself the new the real you and I was befriending myself I became friend with myself again because I was long time uh, like ignoring myself as if I don't exist and in that day um, when I did that breakthrough of course through lots of uh, techniques and uh, things I became again me so that day, everything started changing in my life because, you know, the, the programs changed. So everything that was impossible to do became possible. Everything that I thought was not nice became nice. Even, even I have pictures for me, that, like 10 years back, yeah. or let's say. Whenever I look at those pictures that day before, oh my God, I look so ugly. Now, I look again at the same picture and I see it differently and say, oh my God, I look so cute. So what changed? The picture didn't change. It's me who changed. My attitude, my perception about how I see things and how I see myself at the beginning. Beautifully said. It's very beautifully said. <laughs> Tell me please, hidden hero, how you will recommend a person not be hidden anymore? How to become a hero? For people who are sitting, who are alone, who may be less fortunate, they don't have much money, but they have a lot of desire. They want to be somebody. How to be a hero? Everyone can be a hero and everyone is a hero. Everyone. We are a hero every day by day. Yeah, and every th single thing that you are doing and that you are proud of it, uh, maybe you're, I don't know, you're getting a coffee for someone. This is something amazing that you are doing. Mm. So more and more going back to that kindness and compassion in our heart. And whenever you, you are doing those acts of kindness, you are a hero because you are, you are a role model for someone else to do the same. So it's like a pay it forward. So I do something good for you. Maybe I'll buy you a coffee. Okay, and then I will ask you to do the same for someone else, not for me. So Absolutely. this is how we. So can. it's connection of. It's connection. Act, act of, act of kindness. kindness. Yes. Just be kind. It's yeah. that easy. No need to be a hero. Just be kind. No, because we sometimes we say hero. It means that you are rich, famous. No, it's not that. It's it's very simple. Some people have a, a life purpose that is uh, only to to take your hand and make you walk a place where you cannot. Okay simple things so and it all goes also to going back to ourselves and to our family and uh, take care of the people that are around us and find the hero in, inside of them and pushing them to just uh, just be and listen we don't have to always to to give advices people don't need advices people need someone to listen to them and this is where you're holding the space. We say, I'm holding the space for you to be. It means that I'm holding that space for you just to say exactly what you want without me interfering with your own thoughts and giving you my own point of view rather than listening to exactly what you want. This is so beautiful. <laughs> Don't talk too much. Listen, and you will understand more that when you talk. No, it's, 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 it's really so, it's really so. Nadine, I want to thank you so thank much you so for much. finding time, for sharing your thoughts. And what is the, like, the, the, like, the advice, the slogan you can give the people who are 40 or 50 or 60? How to them stay that beautiful, that strong, that girl without age, I will yeah. call you, because you, for me, like French beauty. From where, to, from... It's always recreate yourself on a daily basis. So every day, every day is a new day. And every day you can find something new in that day. Don't let life go by randomly. No, make sure that you are happening in this life, not ha life is happening to you. You are here every day, do something that you like, at least to start with one hour for you. And this is how they will, uh, you will keep on finding more and more about you and be interested in you. I am interested in me to know what can I do more, you know? So be interested in you, ask yourself questions. Can I do that? Why not? I can. And if you need support, just say it. I but this also... support, where to find this support? Like, uh, I don't know, people who will understand and support you. Whenever you have the right energy, the right person will come to you and support you. So it's, it's really a vibration. 
we vibrate on a, on a different uh, frequencies and the more you're, uh, you're elevated in your vibration and your frequency, you will attract the same people that resonate with the same frequency and they will come. You know, the, they, there's a say, uh, it says like uh, when, the, when the student is ready, the teacher appears, Absolutely. it's the same thing. So it's all, it all goes again to us, what do we really want? Absolutely. Nadine, tell me please, you are from Lebanon. Yes. Do you have something in Lebanon, yes. uh, something that maybe that people in Lebanon believe? Yes. Something yes. like that, yeah, because we don't know that much, unfortunately, and it will be nice to know. <laughs> About uh, Lebanon? Yeah, what, what, like, what saying we have? For example, in Russia we have that Draga uh, Loshka uh, Kabedu, for example, bring the spoon when it's lunch time. Yes. When the lunch is finished, no need to bring the spoon. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, like some, some, some saying that some you want to share. Uh... <gasps> okay, we, we have this uh, So this is like a very empowering thing, saying that the same thing that my mom used to tell me. It's, it's whenever we plant you, you grow. Mm. Okay, whenever we plant you, any, 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 uh, any soil, you will you will grow as well so mm. it's like very uh, empowering whatever situation you are in you can overcome it yeah just go yeah. i love it i love it whenever you plant it you can grow over it because yeah. this is the circle of life yes. nadine thank you so much thank you. pleasure to have you thank here you, thank here. you for sharing thank you thank you so much